Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 27th tutorial in this course. So in this tutorial, we are going to begin our discussion on loops and check out the while loop. So loops are used to repeat uh, executions of statements over and over again. So let's say you have uh, a couple of statements in your script file and you want to execute them, you know, again and again, and uh, you want to do it till a certain point of time. So let's say you want to do it 10 times or 15 times or 20 times or 1000 times. So the way you accomplish that is by using loops. So in PHP, there are three kinds of loops that you can use the while loop, the for loop and the for each loop. And we're going to check all three of them in the course. So I have a file opened up in my text editor. It's called while.php. And then on line number six in the file, I have the opening PHP tag line number 14, I have the closing PHP tag and I have uh, created a variable called var on line number seven. I've given it the value zero. And then on line number eight, I have uh, the keyword while and within parentheses immediately after the keyword name, I have a test condition. So this test condition is var is less than equal to 10. So currently the va value in the variable var is zero and the test condition is var is less than equal to 10. So I have 10 here because I want this, you know, whatever codes uh, present in the while block you know, between the opening and closing curly braces that immediately follow the while statement. You know, this portion is known as the while block. So this uh, code is going to execute till this condition remains true, right? So obviously we'll have to facilitate some way in which this condition eventually becomes false. And we do that by having uh, the statement on line number 12 var plus plus. So we have a post increment operator follow following the variable name here. So what's going to happen is PHP is going to check whether this condition is true. That is if zero is less than equal to 10, of course it is. So it's going to get inside the while block and execute this echo statement first. So it's going to display the value zero on screen and then it's going to go to a new line and it's going to update the value of the variable var. So it's going to change the value to one. And then again, it's going to check whether one is less than 10. Again, that's true. So it's going to execute all these three statements. The value of var will become two then and three, four, five, so on and so forth till it becomes 10. When it becomes 10, again, it's going to value to true, get inside the while block, execute the echo statement first, display 10, and then it's going to go to a new line and change the value of the variable var to 11. And when that happens, it's again going to check whether 11 is less than equal to 10, the condition would value it to false. So it's going to skip over these three statements and it's going to follow, you know, whatever codes there after the closing curly brace. In this case, we don't have any, any code. So, you know, that would mean the end of file. So I'll save this file and open my browser request for while.php. And this is what we get. We see numbers from zero to 10. Right. And if suppose I change this uh, condition to 15 or, you know, let's say five, we would see numbers from zero to five. Right. So that's how the while loop works. And in the next tutorial, we're going to check out the for loop and uh, the for loop is also very powerful, but while is my favorite, you know, whether I'm working with PHP or C or uh, Java or Python, I always prefer using the while loop because of, uh, you know, features that we're going to check out later on in the course, maybe, you know, the simplicity of while loop, it just appeals to me too much. And that's why I prefer using it over for or even for each, but then while has its limitations too. And uh, we're going to discuss those when we discuss the other two loops. So thank you so much for watching this video and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video till then take care.